and we made it. You see this advertisement everywhere? Well, I know one viewer, wink wink, always gets annoyed every time he sees this ad. I don't even understand what, what the problem with that is, because really, all they're trying to do is just advertise people that take it. I, like, let's put it this way, there's... Uh, when you take the TTC, there's uh, you're producing less car emissions, even though the buses use emissions. Imagine if those tw uh, 52 people who were on the bus were driving. That would be 52 more emissions to the street. I mean, really, it's better for the economy. It's, you know, it, it's always good for the environment to avoid driving. But, I mean, at, at the same time... Uh, at the same time, not everybody feels safe taking the TTC, especially after all those attacks that happened. They're, and there's beco they're becoming more violent now. There's a lot of violence going on these days, and you even see police officers riding the subway. Because really, the violence is getting so bad nowadays. But anyways, yeah, I, I just started off at Runnymede Road, got off the 40 bus. And I was on a 2007 Orion 70G diesel. I know, me talking about that ad that you see everywhere. It's kind of a weird way to start a video, isn't it? And there's my shadow right here. So anyways, I'm walking along the Junction neighborhood. Which uh, runs towards High Park Avenue. I think Junction also runs towards Keel Street. But when you go just north of here, you end up in the Stockyards neighborhood. In my opinion, this, this, the thing about that those advertisements you see all the time, it could be that they're trying to reduce car emissions because that this is what's causing climate change. But at the same time, that's why they're inventing electric vehicles. And this is why the TTC wants to have zero emissions fleet by 2040 so that, you know, we can prevent climate change. Even though it's already happening, but I don't know. Can, can we stop climate change? I'm pretty sure we can. Who knows? Oh my gosh, I... You know, this is probably a seasonal thing, but you know what r really annoys me the whole time? It's that my lips get so dry. It, like, usually at this time, it my lips feel like they're going to fall off or something, or they feel really dry, but it's an uncomfortable feeling. But I guess it's just a seasonal thing. One interesting thing that happened this weekend is that Mayor John Tory resigned, and... So really, he's not the mayor anymore. It's actually not something he wanted to do. Like, he didn't want to drop his position like that. But really, what, I think what really happened was he had an altercation with one of his co-workers and with one of his family members as well. He got into some sort... There was some sort of incident. He... Uh, you know, he kind of spoiled his relationship to his wife and his co-workers, and somehow he thought he'd made the resolution by resigning. Now, that's what I'd call a resolution, because it's really a hard decision. It's this, it's a decision that you don't want to do, and but it's beneficial to for certain circumstances. But people are saying that we all liked Mayor John Tory. He was a good mayor. I think he's been the mayor since Rob Ford died in 2016. I know he died in April 2016, but I forget the date. But I know he died from some health issues. There's a car wash coming up. So I guess we're just, since he resigned, we're just going to have to find a new mayor.
Wow, those car washes, they're so loud. Well, of course, it's because of that, that dryer. Look at that, you can see through the windows. I don't think he's gonna see me recording. Or maybe he will, but he won't see it very well. But it's kind of cool to look from the in look at the inside of the car wash. So it's quite a pleasant day. It's about six, seven, six or seven degrees centigrade right now. So it's not too bad. And it's really sunny right now. I wish I could go out in a t-shirt, but I can't because it's only February. And it looks a little bit like spring. I mean, the, it's all because the groundhog didn't see his shadow, so that uh, prediction was accurate. So, like, just after that deep freeze that we had last Friday, it's now feeling more like spring. And it'll, like, it'll actually feel more like spring on Wednesday, because Wednesday we're going to reach 13 degrees in Toronto. So we'll be reaching the double digits, the plus double digits, which is better. So I'll definitely have to find something to do on Wednesday with the weather being mild. Unfortunately, I'm still going to have to wear a jacket because thir 13 is still too cold for a t-shirt. But, you know, at least I won't have to bundle up like I usually do. I've been to this Tim Hortons one time with my mom and my cousin back in the summer. Now I don't, I'm not sure if you guys remember this, some may, some may not, but in 2017, we actually reached 18 degrees in Toronto on February 23rd. Now that was the warmest February day in history. And that rainfall that we got on Thursday, I believe, that was that was almost the amount of rainfall. That was almost uh that almost broke a record with the amount of rainfall in February. So yeah, we'll see what happens. And it's uh we're not gonna the uh, snow is going away right now, and I don't think it, the snow's gonna come back for a little bit. We still got a whole month of winter left. So mm, I suspect the, spur the snow will come back at some point, but uh, I don't think it's gonna come back until at least a week from now. The sun and the rain seem to be a, the key snow melter because snow is very sensitive. So where are we now? Okay, we're almost... I can see Quebec Avenue coming up. And you know what? I'm not even wearing gloves, so that's... That's uh, kind of... Uh, that's quite a change, because I've been wearing gloves for, you know, I don't remember the last time I went out without gloves on, but uh, now I can zoom in and out, no problem. My hands are empty. I was actually thinking of doing some shopping a little bit later, so. But yeah, for now, no gloves, my hands are empty. I can zoom in and out anytime. We've got 10, 10 seconds left. I can see the Canadian Pacific Rail Corridor. Oh, this dog is left outside. Hello, doggy.
And earlier today, I think a couple hours ago, I was hearing some birds chirping. And you know, these are actually the type of birds you hear in the spring. They're called, they're basically robins, but yeah, when you see the snow melting and milder temperatures and hear the birds chirping, that's really a sign of spring. But basically this feels more like March. So really, typically we're a month ahead. Sometimes we can be a month ahead, sometimes we can be a month behind, and right now we're a month ahead. So there's High Park Avenue. And you know what? I'm probably just gonna walk down to the subway. Right down to High Park and Bloor. Okay, now this, uh, hello, Mr. Pigeon. Well, so this is the same sidewalk that leads you right to the subway, so it'll save me from having to cross streets. Now this right here is where the 30 High Park bus goes. Now, Thing with that route is that route used to be 30 Lambton but then in October 2019 they rerouted it to um, 30 High Park so basically 30 Lambton was basically like the 40 except instead of starting at Dundas West Station it would start at High Park and the 30 is just like the old 40 junction route it, it would start off like rather than start off at um, Dundas West, it would start off at High Park and then end up running me loop. So it's kind of like a, a reversal route. Now the only type of bus you see running on the 30 High Park are the, are the Nova, Nova buses. Nova bus LFS, because really the, it all has to do with the fact that it runs dominantly through a quiet neighborhood and the Nova LFS buses have quieter engines than the Orions but uh, one thing is though the Orions do run on the 55 and the 55 bus um, is dominantly through a, a, a neighborhood a, a side street you know because Really, the 55 is called Warren Park, and Warren Park is the type of neighborhood where I used to go for a walk around all the time in the summer. And it's a quiet neighborhood. And it's basically one a side street neighborhood. But the thing is, ironically, despite the fact that the Orions have louder engines, they're permitted to run on the 55. So I don't quite get it. Oh boy, maybe I should have wore gloves. My hands are kind of getting cold. I don't know why, but my hands tend to be sensitive to, tend to be really sensitive because sometimes my hands get cold even at 12 degrees. And this is why, you see, I I'm not wearing gloves, but I'm still wearing a toque because my ears are very sensitive to the cold. We all like to think that by wearing a toque, it just keeps our head warm. Well, actually, it mostly keeps our ears warm because the ears are something we, that, um, that are sensitive. Our ears are more sensitive to the cold than, the, than uh, our head because when our ears are cold, it actually hurts. And sometimes it can, it can feel just like that, even at 12 degrees, so. I don't know, I I basically wear a toque at uh, six degrees or below. And I'm the type of person who likes to dress up only depending on what strictly what the temperature is, not uh, what the wind is like or whatnot. I mean, one time I went out in a t-shirt when it was 
18 degrees and I was freezing. But I mean, 18 is really not that cold, but it all has to do with wind. This is quite a nice neighborhood. So really, I'm not too far from High Park subway station and I think my walking video is going to be a little bit below average because I think my average walking videos are like 25 to 30 minutes long or 25 to 28 minutes to be realistic. Oh my gosh, really? Okay, you know how I point this out all the time? Now I have no control over what you guys do, but I mean, if this if this is your house, well, and you have a dog there that took a shit there, well, you know what? Maybe you don't have to pick it up, it's your house, but any dog owner who's letting their dog do their business in somebody's property, and you don't pick up after your dogs, that's even worse, because it's not fun having dog shit lying around people's properties, you know? This is why it's better for dog walkers to only let their dogs take a shit here, right there in this grass, rather than on people's lawns. I mean, like I say, I'm very observant, so I always detect stuff, don't I? I have to, now because the 30 High Park route is really short, I'll have to film a ride on it one day, but I'll film a full route ride, but you know what? Not today. I have other things on my, on my to-do list. So I was actually thinking of heading up to Stockyards after I end this video. So we'll see what happens, and maybe I'll, maybe I, I can film a walking video while in the Stockyards neighborhood. But yeah, we'll see, see what happens. Okay, better stand on the side, let those bikers pass. That's uh, my favorite color right here. It is blue. Although I don't, uh, I think I like this shade of blue better because dark blue is a little depressing. So that's, uh, that does it. But, like I was talking about towards the beginning of the video, where some of us are going to miss Mayor John Tory. I think he was a good mayor, and I mean, it's kind of heartbreaking to see that he would get into an altercation. Well, I know I hear an airplane sound somewhere, but... It's probably probably flying where the sun is, and I won't be able to see the airplane because the sun is right in my eyes. That's a cool color. It's shiny gray. Yeah, that's that's a type of color I like. It's it's really cool. It kind of gives you the gaming vibe.
I know a week ago today we were all covered in snow and now the grass tends to look somewhat part of the grass still seems to be somewhat green I just saw a cop car over there Uh, you know what, maybe my walking video will be on average, because, I mean, I'm at 22 and a half minutes, but I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get down to High Park Subway Station. So, maybe I spoke a little too soon. We can't always predict the future. Well, normally we can't. And here comes the 30 High Park bus. And this is 3318 Nova Bus LFS. And it looks like there's nobody on. I don't even think there's anyone on that bus. Well, I'm not surprised because that route doesn't go very far, does it? It only goes up this street towards Runnymede and, and Dundas and, and then it ends. Yeah, I, honestly, I should have wore gloves. Maybe it's because I'm too used to it. That's why I decided not to wear gloves today. Nice day for people to walk their dogs. Okay, this uh, this building right here looks really new. You can only tell by the design because that's normally what modern buildings look like. Somebody still has their Christmas lights there. Oh, I see an airplane up there. But I can't see the airline. Number one, the plane is too high. Number two, it's flying directly over me. Normally I don't uh, make vlogs on Sundays, but you know what? I think this time it's good to do it for a change. And I'm over 25 minutes, so really I spoke too soon. But I'm gonna say this was an uneventful walk. And there's High Park Subway Station. I can see it right there. Oh, there's another airplane up there. Let's see. I have a feeling that could be Delta. Delta Airline. So anyways, coming to, coming to the point, I'm now approaching High Park Station, so I'd like to thank everyone who watches this. And you guys know, know the drill, right? Now this station's like Jane and Runnymede, okay? You, if you take the bus to get here, you're still gonna have to pay at the fare gates down in the subway. It's not like Royal York where, you know, you can, you pay your fare, then you could just hop on the bus from, take it from here. Nope, it's quite different. Wow, this looks like a crowd of people are coming out. All right, take care guys.